Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Vijay Lashmi. Today we are discussing example 2 of specialization problem. So given a data set, we have to classify whether it belongs to the class or label uh, circle or triangle. Okay. So here given three attributes, one is size, color and shape. So all these three are independent attributes and the label or class is dependent attribute. So this is our target function f of x. Okay, so now how do we solve this problem? Specialization method always starts from general to specific hypothesis we generate. So now start with our uh, general hypothesis. So our general hypothesis H0 is since we have three attributes and each attribute has instance big and small. Size has instance big and small, color has red and blue, shape has circle and triangle. So each of the three attributes has two two instance. So our hypothesis, general hypothesis also has three attributes. So put three question marks here. Okay. And in specialization, what we do, we have to take even the positive instances also into considerations as well as negative also to be taken into consideration for negative instances also we have to generate the hypothesis but for finders algorithm using finders we don't consider the negative hypothesis that is for generalization we consider only the positive hypothesis specialization is mainly used in the candidate elimination algorithms so here in specialization, we have to consider even the negative hypothesis. So the, uh, hyp the hypothesis what we are going to generate should be consistent with both positive and the negative labels. Okay. So now we are starting with general hypothesis and we'll take the first uh, row of data that is first instance I1 and instance I1 we have big red circle. And if you see the class label here, we have no. So no means it is a negative instance. Okay, it is a negative instance. Now we have to generate the hypothesis for this negative instance. It should, uh, the hypothesis should be no. But if you take our general hypothesis, we have question mark. Question mark means what? It can be anything. It can be positive or negative or it can be any instance big or small red or blue for everything it is yes only here so and our first hypothesis itself is first instance itself is no here negative instance so we have to generate a set of hypothesis so start to satisfy this negative instance so what are the hypothesis here so now my h1 will be since i want the no to be printed here but here I have big and here in hypothesis H0 I have question mark. So since I want no, I have to put here small. What are all the possible sub hypothesis you can generate? You just list out all this here. Since we have a negative instance no, I cannot copy the H0 itself for H1. So instead of big I have replaced with small. And next I have red color here. But here I have question mark. So take the other color, take other instance, opposite instance. For here, for red, we have opposite blue. So this is one of the instance generated. Again, you have the third instance circle, but here we have question mark. Take the opposite of that. So that is question mark, question mark, triangle. So these are the three hypotheses which can satisfy this negative instance. So if I give small uh, question mark, question mark, it is no only question mark followed by blue, but we have red here, you will get no itself. Question mark, question mark followed by triangle we have, but here in the instance you have circle, so you will get the negative instance itself. So we got now totally three hypotheses. Okay, hypothesis space has been generated at this point. Next, read I2. So in I2 we have small red triangle and here also the instance is no it is also negative here also it is negative and here the first one also was negative now we have small red triangle now if you observe this 
See now how to generate the hypothesis H2. To generate the hypothesis H2, we should see H1. So in H1, I have small here and here also I have small. So I cannot use now the same small question mark, question mark. So I have to see some other uh, instance so that I have to change because here also I have no only. I want negative instance only here. So here, since I want it to be no, I if I use this small question mark, question mark, it becomes yes, but my instance should be no. So to, to make it as no, instead of I am seeing the second instance, here I have red. So I'll try to put here blue, small, the same instance, small followed by blue and question mark. If I put this, I'll get no. And this hypothesis should also match this hypothesis. Here also you have red only. Here also you have red and here also you have red. So that is why I am putting here blue now. So that I, for both the instances, for both the instance 1 and 2, it should satisfy. Okay, this is 1. Next, again, if I check uh, for small blue, I have put. But here, if you see, you have circle and you have triangle. Here you have circle and you have triangle and here both are no itself. So to match this both again, I am writing it should be small. Okay, from this hypothesis, for this hypothesis only I am writing small and question mark. Okay, Cut small question mark. I am seeing for this one now. Okay, small question mark. Here I have triangle and here I have circle. So here I will put here circle. So if I put small question mark circle, this instance becomes what? Instead of circle, what I have? Triangle. So since I have triangle, I will get the instance as no itself. Okay. So that is, uh, that is the reason we have chosen this. This is also one of the hypothesis. Next, if I see here, blue color is there. So here, blue question mark. So blue here and here we have red color. So I can use that same hypothesis question mark, blue question mark, question mark. And here my color, if I take blue and here it is question mark, I'll get the negative instance itself. So it will satisfy. So I'm writing that as it is. Okay. Next again, I have from blue, this hypothesis, if I see, if I put uh, blue and if I observe this, the third, uh, third hypothesis, question mark, question mark, triangle. And here, if I see here for question mark, I have here big red and circle here. So I cannot put the question, uh, question mark as in circle and triangle is there. I should make this instance to be no. So here for red, I am putting it as the color here. I have red here and here also I have red. So if I put blue if i change one instance blue followed by triangle and question mark so now i'll get here no okay i'll get my instance here as no and also here question mark blue triangle will satisfy even this also the first instance also since the color is red we have made here blue okay so this is uh, this is h2 Question H2 has been generated. Next, if you see blue and triangle already we have taken. Next hypothesis, if I see question mark, see question mark, blue, question mark. If I see question mark, blue, question mark. See for this hypothesis how I can take question mark instead of blue what I have here red and here I have question mark. So that is the reason we have taken here question mark blue question mark. This is taken. Now question mark blue and triangle. Yes question mark blue and triangle is satisfied. We have taken even this also. And next what are the other possible uh, hypothesis we can generate from the previous three we should observe. So, small blue question mark. Now, 
if i see this third instance i have triangle here and here i have small and red okay now here i have big and red now i should make this hypothesis to be false using this what is the other hypothesis i can derive i have triangle here and here i have big that is i have here big and here i have small so to make this hypothesis false i'll add one more hypothesis so instead of uh, small i'll put it here big so big question mark this question mark and triangle for the third one we uh, sorry, uh, we uh, written a sub hypothesis question mark so now the same thing i should check whether it will satisfy instance i1 also so here i have big question mark triangle here i have big red circle okay so this hypothesis satisfies both the negative instances okay guys so that is why we have taken this next consider i3 read the instance now that a set of hypotheses generated are five hypotheses are generated in h2 next read i3 in i3 we have small red and circle and the instance here is positive it is yes yes means it is a positive instance now if you take our first instance instance sorry first hypothesis to generate the new hypothesis h3 you have to see the previous hypothesis h2 if i see my h2 i have small blue and question mark here so here i have small red done circle here okay so here i want to be printed as a positive but here i have red color but in my hypothesis here i have blue color so i cannot select this hypothesis for my h3 next the second hypothesis if i check i have big here and i have small here okay and here i have question mark sorry i have small here and here also i have small and here the color is red and here it is question mark and here also circle here also circle so this second one will match so i am copying that hypothesis small question mark circle it is a consistent hypothesis to satisfy even my negative as well as my positive hypothesis if i take the third one that is question mark blue question mark i have here question mark blue question mark okay question mark blue question mark but here what i have i have the color is red here and here i have small but if you see uh, the instance one if i see if i have big here so here this question mark blue here i have blue color and i have red color so i cannot take this hypothesis into consideration this is an inconsistent hypothesis similarly if i see the fourth one i have question mark blue triangle but i have here question mark here i have small red circle so i have circle here but i have here triangle so this hypothesis is also not useful and next i have big question mark triangle but here i have small red done circle so here this also is not matching my hypothesis so we cancelled all this so among all this uh, five which has been generated the useful one is only one small question mark followed by circle so we have taken only this into consideration now so next if i see my i4 read i4 i4 we have big blue and circle so now see my hypothesis here and big blue and circle and here it the instance here also it is no so no means it is a negative instance negative instance whatever the hypothesis i am taking it should satisfy that also so if i see my hypothesis here my hypothesis small question mark circle so i want negative instance but here i have big and i have small here so here i have blue question mark and here also circle and here also circle but here itself it is not satisfied so my h4 will be same as h3 the same hypothesis will generate even the negative hypothesis also so we are taking this the same hypothesis small question mark circle itself will satisfy that okay next read i5 
If I read I5, I have small blue circle. Small blue circle. And my hypothesis I H5 to be generated. If I see my H5, here also I have small, small, and here also blue and question mark, and here you have circle, and in my H4 also I have circle. So my H4 only will satisfy even for H5 also. The same hypothesis only will satisfy even instance I5 also. So small, question mark, circle. So the this is the hypothesis generated which will satisfy all the instances. So hope you have understood this problem. Please, if you are not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the bell button so that you can see my next upcoming videos. Thank you all.